Okay, there's the truck I bought. Uh, for a parts truck. So, let's see what I have here. I have bumper. Hmm. Fog lights. Good. Uh, missing the inside piece. Got one. Fix it. Check. Top part looks good. Um, missing the bottom piece. I'll have to pick one of those up. It's got a little ding in the bumper right there. That should straighten. Otherwise, it looks pretty good. All the way around, it's not too bad off at all. It could clean up pretty good. It's got another little ding right there where license plate is it hasn't been run for three or four years four or five years something like that well the gas in it's bad <laughs> headlights oh pretty bad dirty but that'll work now engine Hood's heavy. Shocks, bad. Engine, yep, it's got one. All right, it's the same size engine, so I'm not losing anything there. It's supposed to turn over and potentially run. No guarantees on any of that. Well, let me get something under this hood. So, let's see, it has pretty much everything there, seems to be pretty complete, just missing the intake manifold, stock, that's probably not stock, let's see, battery, pretty nasty, battery cables, well, that one is pretty much shot. So, definitely going to need to do the positive side. Probably extend it out. Some battery jumper cable. That one, probably have to do that one too. I'll probably uh, wire some jumper cable clamps onto it. And uh, clamp it down with that. Get me power. Uh, starter only clicks. It doesn't engage, so the starter will have to be replaced. Good thing I got a starter, and it works. So I'll put that on there to turn it over and try to get this thing running good. Uh, once I got it running, then I pull it out and put it in the other truck. Uh, okay, now got hubcaps for the caps on that for the wheels and it's got four stock wheels four stock caps so uh, with that and the two stock wheels I have I get two more stock caps yeah sounds like a good plan Okay, door hinge on my truck on the top driver's side is broke. This one's good. I'll just have to rebuild it. Uh, so I got the bumper, an engine, a hinge, some good wheels, and a good back glass. So I can replace the back glass on mine. I've got uh, four-wheel four -wheel drive here, so with the long bed, which means it's got the big tank, big gas tank under there. Uh, unfortunately, it won't fit on the short bed. 
but I got plans. So, I don't think there's a difference in the rear axle. It's be fine. Now, I also, driver's side, rear tail light, it's got one. Mine needs to be replaced, so I'm good there. The bed looks to be in okay shape, what I've seen so far. Uh, it's not all dented up really bad. A couple of dents in the inner wheel wells. Not a big deal. The rust, new panel put all the way across. It's rusted out down here. Rusted through here. Rust there. So I might just replace the pieces or replace the whole panel. I don't know. It's kind of dented right in there somewhere. Uh, so I can replace that. That's the driver's side. And like I said, this is a parts truck, but I have plans. So, use your imagination here, if you wish. Anyway, this panel here, also, rust out in the same places, but uh, that looks good. Rocker panels are bad. The door hinge on the bottom on the driver's side it's bad i got mud flaps hey mud flappage interesting so yeah there's that mud flaps and a four-wheel drive frame so i could do some things interesting things uh but if you could imagine Take the doors off, take and cut the cab off, you know, right in there somewhere, right back here on the back side somewhere. Take that off. Shorten this all the way up. Just move that all the way back to here. Okay? Just move it right to here. Now, got this flare piece right there on the door so what I'll do is I'll cut that out and I'll transfer it to right in this area here so it's covering that pull the full nose back join it up right here just weld it together so that the nose is all the way up here now trailer out of that got a long bed trailer with the nose on it the full front turned into storage space so I would basically just take all that move that back clamp it in weld it all up make a beautiful perfect fit Yeah, I think it'll look good. And then, finish up the front. Put the bumper in there somehow, you know, uh, cut a bumper up and fit it in along with all the other little pieces and basically make a front end on it that looks right. All the parts. I think, uh, you know, if I get into a fender bender, I got fenders in the tray on the trailer. I get bumper pieces in case I just bang it up a little bit. Got a hood, yeah, shocks, whatever I need. I can put uh, in that space there. I have all this radiator space here, all these coolers. I'll have all that space plus. All that engine compartment down there. All the side. Everything cleared out. 
so I'll have space I can actually take spare tire take the uh, hub portion off raise it up weld it in and stick a spare tire in there on both sides I could have two spares Also, on the fuel tank, because it's a big fuel tank, I can move, it would stay with the truck, or trailer, and put a transfer pump on it. I can carry around 30 plus gallons of fuel with a fuel nozzle and fuel up whatever I need to do. If somebody's stranded on the side of the road with no fuel, I can, oh, I gotta go to the gas station. No, you don't. Fill them up. I figure small gasoline engine back here in the back in that space and uh, put a generator in here on one side or the other uh, uh, electric generator small gasoline engine fuels in the tank pump the fuel over to the generator uh, I can put a compressor in here for air air compressor uh, electric air compressor or clutch it out so I got two things operating I can put it on a on the engine the little engine and uh, do it that way uh, I have plenty of space for tools, equipment, whatever I need to put in there. Tons of space. I could put, uh, uh, also there's, uh, I got two 24 volt motors. So if I put two batteries in here, I can take those two motors, mount them onto brackets and jacks of some kind. And I can raise and lower my spare tire straight up into the wheel space, jack it straight down, and actually raise the trailer off of uh, the trailer hitch, right? Just raise it up off the trailer hitch or lower it onto the trailer hitch. Wouldn't need a jack it up with a one of those silly jacks use the spare tires for that uh, I think that sounds good so on this truck I'll have the bumper with the uh, fog lights window door hinge um, what else was I thinking oh four matching wheels um, an engine, various other little parts if I want them. Uh, I can uh, get my truck going. Sounds good. Uh, four wheel drive, it doesn't match, of course. The length of the wheelbase is the same, but if I try to put my body over onto that frame, I have to move the body mounts. Uh, that would be the biggie. And I would still have to go with the short bed. Couldn't put the long bed on there. The long bed won't fit on here properly. And I don't know. It may not work at all anywho I'm not gonna do all that that's just too much and the uh, value isn't high enough to warrant it but, uh, yeah there's the truck and uh, oh the grill on that truck is missing that piece so I have to replace that I do have wheels oh those wheels which will be for the which have the chrome still on them, which will be for the uh, trailer, 
and then I've got two that don't have the chromes on them because they needed to be repaired. So took the chromes off. Those could be the spares. If I buy two more I'll, with the originals, I'll do that. Uh, but yeah, I think I think I got a winner here. We'll find out.